Hi family, welcome back. Now that we've discussed the different truck freight types, where do we begin? Let's start from the top and go to the bottom. Business name formation, get creative. A lot of you guys have already established business names. When forming your business name, be sure to use the LLC on all contracts, information, and your logo. Always use LLC after your business name. Business logos. I have negotiated a great rate with an artist for my class. His handle is at Vice Graphics with an X on the end. That's on Instagram as well as Facebook. This is his name on all social media platforms. So if you go to him, let him know that you are requesting a discount for the freight broker class. And we have negotiated a rate for $90 for all of my students with this artist. The LLC application can be done online at www.inkauthority.com. Again, that's www.inkauthority.com. State fees apply. This company will not charge you to file your LLC. However, they will offer tons and tons of add-ons and upgrades. You may decline all of those. They may email you. They may call you. Make sure that you decline all of those. The only thing you need is your LLC in which they will file that for free. Obtain your tax ID slash EIN number from www.irs.gov website, and that is free. You will get that on the spot. Once you go to the IRS website, if you don't see a link where you can get your EIN, what you can do is type in the search bar EIN or either tax ID, and it will take you directly to the application. Go ahead and fill that out, and you will be able to get your tax ID number on the spot. Next, you need to fill out the freight broker application on the FMCSA website. That's the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration website. That site is www.fmcsa.dot.gov. Make a note of that website. The fee for that website is three hundred dollars. The DOT and MC number, that's the Department of Transportation and Motor Carrier number. Every freight broker will have these numbers. These numbers are given immediately once you fill out the application on the FMCSA website. Save these numbers, write them down, put them in a safe place. These numbers are specific to your business and assigned to your broker authority. Nobody will share these numbers with you. These are the same numbers that you see on the side of trucks when you're driving down the highway. A business website can be obtained at www.godaddy.com. In the next slide, we will discuss websites. I will give you guys a website template. Feel free to copy the template word for word. You can add your own logo and your own business information. We will discuss that in the next slide. If you have any questions about where to begin, any of these things, we can discuss that in our private Facebook group for the class. So let's reiterate. Business name formation first. Obtain your business logo the LLC with inkauthority.com. Obtain your tax ID for free from the IRS website. Fill out the freight broker application on the FMCSA website, which is www.fmcsa.dot.gov. You will get your Department of Transportation and Motor Carrier number on the spot once you fill that out and pay the $300 fee. 
Your freight broker license will come one to two weeks after that, usually one week, but it will not come until you have completed the surety bond and the UCR in which we will go over soon. After that application, you want to handle your business website on www.godaddy.com. If your business name is not available on GoDaddy, feel free to get creative. You can put a number behind it, two numbers behind it. Usually the websites are not expensive. I paid $1.99 for mine and it is $1.99 per year. So visit GoDaddy.com to get your business website started.